With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello. The problem states that two materials having coefficient of thermal conductivity 3k and k and thickness d and 3d respectively are joined to form a slab as shown in the figure. The temperature of the outer surfaces are theta 2 and theta 1 respectively, where theta 2 is greater than theta 1. So we have to find the temperature of the interface is for. So let's understand the situation. So we are given with the two slabs having thermal conductivity 3k and k. Right. So we can replace it with the equivalent electrical circuit denoting the resistances. Let's say this is the resistance R1. And this is the resistance R2. Right. And as we know, thermal resistance is given by L upon K A. L is the length, K is the thermal conductivity, and A is the cross section area. So the left end is at the temperature theta 2, and the right end is at the temperature theta 1. So the first resistance is L upon K A. So what is the length? Its length is D. So that resistance is D upon 3K into A. Right. Similarly, we can write the value of R2. So that is L upon K. So length is 3D upon K into A. So if uh, we will see that uh, resistance R1 is D upon 3K into A. So, uh, if we will call it as R, then the resistance R2 will become 3D upon k so that becomes what 9 times of r correct so r2 is equals to 9 times of r1 right so that is also equals to 9 into r so now we can say that we have two resistances r and 9 r okay this is a temperature theta 2 and this is a temperature theta 1 so can we find the thermal current so thermal current or the heat flow uh, rate of heat flow would be temperature difference upon thermal resistance so that would be theta 2 minus theta 1 upon 10 r correct now let's say this has temperature theta so this part of the resistance is also having this i current flowing through it so now we can again use the ohm's law which will state theta 2 minus theta is equals to i into r Okay, so that is current is theta 2 minus theta 1 upon 10 R into R. Correct. So this R and R will get cancelled out. So that is theta 2 minus theta is equals to theta 2 by 10 minus theta 1 by 10. Okay, so now from here we have to find the value of theta. So that becomes theta 2 minus of theta 2 by 10 plus theta 1 by 10. This is what the value of theta is. So we can take 10 as LCM. So that is 10 theta 2 minus theta 2. 9 theta 2 plus theta 1 whole by 10 is what the value of theta is okay so which is given to us in the option a i hope this helps you with the answer thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today